guys! So, I have been asked to make a confidence with braces video by a very lovely person. So, you know who you are, thank you for the message, and this, uh, this is for you. And of course for all those other of you who want to feel more confident or who are thinking of getting braces and are, you know, unsure about it because of the confidence factor. Now, um, for those of you who this is your first time watching my videos, I have a list because of <laughs> because of the tongue crib, so that's why I'm talking kind of funny, but just bear with me. And um, also I wanted to point out, I purposely am not wearing any makeup on this video because I wanted to show that confidence is skin deep. It's not just your outward appearances. So including braces and things like that, yeah, people will see them, but the way you feel and the way that you act around other people is what matters most, you know? So anyway, I'm going to start off by saying that you have to remember the purpose of getting braces. So why are you getting them? You know, why are you going to have them this long? The whole purpose is to create a more healthy and beautiful smile. So it isn't a fun process 24-7. It, it hurts at times. Uh, for me, with the tongue crib, it's been a little difficult to eat and it uh, hurts my tongue. <laughs> but, and of course, speaking has been a little difficult. But, you know, it's something that you can get used to. And I think for, for me, what's helped uh, get more comfortable with my braces and this tongue crib is actually informing people that this is what I'm getting, this is why I'm going to sound like this, blah, blah, blah. So, being open about it has been really helpful for me. And, uh, Honestly, people's reactions have been really positive. No one's come up to me like, ha ha ha, you have braces, you stupid thing. No, it hasn't been like that. Everyone's been like, oh, this is very good for you. And they, people that have already seen me with a tongue crib, they're like, oh, you know what? That must be crazy, but that's awesome. I get it. I know why you're doing this. So don't feel, sometimes I think we imagine in our heads that it's going to be this terrible thing that people are going to be like, oh, braces, no. <laughs> But it's not like that. It's people, for the most part, especially if you have good friends and you're surrounded by good people, no one's going to make fun of you. No one's going to be like, oh, no, it, that's ridiculous. Um, so if you're confident about it, if you tell people, inform them of your procedure, I mean, if you feel like it or if you feel it's necessary, then it makes it easier to deal with any insecurities you might have about your braces. Um, another thing is, one thing that helped me when I was doing my research, um, which that's one thing, doing research helps a lot. If you, especially if you're an adult, um, I think it helps seeing people that are around your same age or older who are starting this process because it shows that you're not alone, first of all. Other people are doing this and we all kind of go through the same process and understanding that um, it's similar for all of us, you know, dealing with getting braces on an um, later age. So, um, it's really important to remember that your thoughts, what you think, what you tell yourself, that's going to reflect how you act and how you come off to people. So if you feel really insecure about your braces or anything else for that matter, it's going to show and people are going to act uncomfortable around you for that for that same reason, not so much because you have the braces, but because you look uncomfortable. So if you look uncomfortable, they'll feel uncomfortable. You know, it's just, just think about it. Anybody who you've been around who feels like they're, they're just uncomfortable in themselves, doesn't that make you feel uncomfortable, right? And, um, you know, kind of going back to the whole starting off with braces, one way that I think about it is, for at least for those of you who've ever used curlers, <laughs> if, um, think of it, think of braces like that. Curlers, you may not want to go out to the mall or whatever wearing curlers in your hair. Um, so it might make you a little insecure, but you know that the end result is going to be beautiful. Your hair's going to be beautiful. And it's kind of the same concept with braces. You know, you might not want to have them on and show them and people for, for people to see them, but the end result is going to be great. So focusing on that is going to help you feel better about having braces, you know? Um, one thing that also helped me was um, there's this YouTuber who did her whole journey on um, braces and she's super helpful. Her um, YouTube name is Braces for Aquarius Chick and I'll write it on here. 
she has a video that she did uh, that's titled braces and what people think about braces that was so helpful to me I put it on my favorites um, playlist because that showed me that even though it's not like a giant amount of people that she filmed but it's a good amount of people that she asked you know what do you think of people getting braces what do you think of adults getting braces and everyone was super positive like they're like oh I think it's great you know people who have braces I feel like they're taking care of themselves blah 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 so watching that video helped me a lot and so I really recommend watch that video because it's awesome I'll put the link below and um but yeah just know that people are really positive especially when you tell them about your experience and most people I've told about my braces have had braces themselves when they were younger and they're like oh I totally know what you mean and I had to do this and this and that and some people especially when they were younger they've had it on for years like years <laughs> so they're like you're lucky you're only gonna have it for two and a half to three years I had it for like seven and which seems crazy to me but I guess it happens so really sharing your experience and watching videos like that one are really helpful in feeling confident and comfortable about your braces journey um, another thing that I think is kind of funny and I'm, I'm sure some of you feel this way because I felt this way too I felt like getting braces was gonna change who I am completely like I felt like I'm gonna look like this nerdy, crazy person because you know I already have glasses. Now add the braces onto that. I'm gonna look like Katy Perry in her video was the last Friday night. <laughs> but the truth is, you're not gonna look like that. All you're doing is putting braces on. You can still dress the way you want. You can still do your hair the way you want. You can still do your makeup or whatever. Um, so you're not changing. Like you're staying the same. So if you're putting an appliance on your teeth. That might be a little noticeable, but that's it. Uh, I think for those of you who have the option of getting ceramic braces, these clear ones, do it if it makes you more comfortable. That's why I chose them, because I knew that working where I work and dealing with so many people, I didn't want them to be too notice no noticeable. And that's why I got the clear ones. And honestly, they were only like $300 more, which to me was like, you know what? Might as well get the clear ones if it's gonna make me feel better so if that's an option for you get the ceramic ones that's you know it makes it so much more uh, appealing and just it makes you feel more comfortable to have them um, and they work just as well as the metal ones so that's definitely an option um, just remember nothing else is changing your brace your face everything's staying the same <laughs> you're just getting braces and um, one last question I received or I received quite a often I should say it's about kissing and kind of dating and what have you um, kissing is not a problem at all I haven't had any experience bad experiences with kissing I mean nothing's been bad for me I've been able to kiss and that was okay um, the guy that I've been seeing was okay with that too so <laughs> it hasn't been an issue um, so yeah kissing is fine and you know, thank you for asking those questions because I actually searched the same thing before I got braces and I only found one guy who talked about it. So, dang it, I want to talk about it. <laughs> it's not a problem, trust me. It's it's not any different. You might feel like it's, oh no, I'm going to attack this person's mouth, but you're not. It'll be fine. And if you're kissing someone for the first time while you have braces, you can just let them know, hey, I have braces, but don't worry. We can still kiss. Like, it's not going to do anything. So, you know, just don't be aggressive <laughs> when you kiss someone, but it'll be fine, I promise you. And, um, yeah, I think that's basically it. You know, just keep your confidence up and remember that the purpose of this is to achieve a better smile. And, again, if you show that you're comfortable with what you have, no one else is going to give a crap. And uh, you'll be fine. Like, me with my tongue crib, I told my coworkers, like, I don't know, I like every day, like, I'm going to get this thing, and I'm going to sound funny, ha ha ha. So they're prepared, so I know that when I see them, they'll be, they're not going to be like, oh my gosh, what happened to you? They'll be like, oh, that's what you're talking about, okay, yeah, it's not that bad, and trust me, most people, my family, friends have been like, it's not that bad, like, we can understand you, there's certain things that I can tell it's a little hard for you to say, but it's not that bad. So, keep that in mind, sometimes we tend to have ideas in our head that things are going to be terrible and we are worst critics so just remember it's not that bad you can do it and you'll be great and it's going to be amazing when you get them off and your smile is perfect so 
All right, well, I think that's what I want to say. I, I think in the future I will create more videos um, talking about positivity because I think it's so important, and especially for, um, I mean, these videos are for everybody, but I feel for women, girls especially, it's so important for you to stay positive. I know it's hard for us because we are, you know, we have so much going against us, you know, and um, don't, don't let that make you feel bad about yourself or stop you because we're all beautiful and, you know, it's just, I understand, basically. <laughs> so I'll make more videos about that. We'll talk and discuss, but just wanted to get this video out there to give you some confidence and positivity about having braces and remembering that you're awesome and you're doing this for a good reason and you're doing this for you. All right, well, if you guys have any questions or would like me to expand on any one topic, let me know and um, I will catch you guys later. Bye.